it's a friday i just got back from andy's i stayed at his last night because today is um the start of easter weekend and it's bank holiday so uh, i was at his last night and i've just got back now it is currently 10 to 8 so i thought i would start this reading vlog off on the basis that i just got home for the first time since wednesday morning and i came home to this lot so i thought we could do an unboxing to start the vlog off because why not so i did obviously get some candles from becca whenever you see one of these boxes it means that candles from becca have arrived and i'm so excited I managed to make a cheeky little order the other day. I keep missing the um I keep missing the SDM candles, I think. So uh I wanted to get the bundle, but I did end up buying two lots of these ones. She messaged me immediately and went, Of course you bought two two lots of this candle. I was like, Well, you know, sounds right up my street. <laughs> Um, so this flavour is apple, pear, whiskey, honey and woods. Oh nice. Nice. So I did get two team fuck yous because why not? It's literally me in a candle pretty much. So um, I did just open this cute little card as well because I didn't know what it was beforehand. So I did just open this up and it has come from one of my patrons, Victoria. Um, with a cute little note inside and a £10 book token voucher as well. Thank you so much, Victoria, for this. You didn't have to at all, but thank you so much. You're an absolute angel and I adore you so much. You are the sweetest. Um, Victoria has put in the letter that she would usually um, send like a, a care package or something, like a parcel with some things in, but um, she's had really bad history with the post and stuff. Previously, she did it for Christmas, it never turned up, and then she did it again for like a New Year present. That one did turn up, the Christmas one still hasn't turned up, so um, she thought she would send a book token instead, just in case. <laughs> uh, but yeah, thank you so much, Victoria, for that one. These, oh, are some pop sockets that I've bought, one for my phone, one for my Kindle, ready for holiday. I'm sick to death of dropping my phone on my face in bed at night. So I wasn't going to get a pop socket because I really like my case. It's a new phone, uh, but I could really do with it. I didn't realise how much I relied on my last one. So um, I got those. Okay, these are from Cece, I'm going to assume, because she did say that there were more... Um, like stickers and stuff come in for my scrapbook and these are a whole bunch of stickers for that so that's exciting thank you so much Cece for these I'm not going to get them out and have a butchers at them now because we'll be here all day otherwise but thank you so much my love you didn't have to at all I told her that a million times she was like yeah I did <laughs> oh okay cool so I do have here Finding Cinderella and when we continue to open some more parcels, in fact I don't know if the others will be here yet or whether they'll have been dispatched, but I bought Finding Cinderella by Colleen Hoover. I did buy the rest of them but I got them from Book Depository and um, so I'm not sure if they will be here yet. Ooh, okay, this is a pre-order of um, Abby Jimenez's A Part of Your World. I love Abby Jimenez's series, the Life's, uh, not Life's Too Short series, what's the first one called? The Friend Zone series. Um, I love that series, so I went, as soon as I knew that this was coming out, I needed it, and I don't know what it is about, uh, but it's this part of your world, so I don't know if there's gonna be like a retelling element to this, I'm not sure, but it's a romance, so I'm really excited. It's a reasonably chunky as well. Um, but I'm excited. So pre-order of that. Then a parcel from Waterstones, which will be another pre-order. Ooh, success. Okay, so my pre-order of Hook, Line and Sinker came in by Tessa Bailey. Uh, sad about the fact that this isn't even remotely floppy like the first one is. That's a shame. Uh, but very excited about this one. This is the companion novel to It Happened on Summer, which I read earlier on this month I think so very excited about this one because I think I'm gonna like this one I gave it happened on summer four stars but I think I'm gonna like this one a little bit more because uh, I was way more invested in this couple prior so 
height. And in here we have, I kind of went a little bit crazy with some romance books. So these are going to be orders of those um, because I want to read a whole bunch of romance this weekend. So these are possibilities for me to read as well. So we have Flock by Kate Stewart. I've seen so many people talking about this one. I've seen loads of people talking about it prior to tiktok but i know it's doing the rounds on tiktok at the moment so i'm excited about this one and then i also have hooked as well by emily mcintyre which again sounds really really good i am very much in my contemporary romance stage right now i'm not picking up any fantasy whatsoever because i'm sick of trying to force it and then we have blackwells i <laughs> can't predict what this is because I can't remember what I pre-ordered, I'm not going to lie. Ooh, exciting, I forgot I got this from Blackwells. It's Skyward Flight, the collection by Brendan Sanderson and Jan C. Patterson. This is the collection of the short stories um, that come in between the other books. So, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Will it tell me what order to read? Oh, this in. Do I just read the whole collection? Sunreach. Uh, I think I just read the whole collection before I pick up the next book in the series. I'm excited. Success! This is the American one as well though, which, you know, I just unhauled. Well, Jade Gavin Pris, if you haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link up to it here, made me unhaul Cytonic, the American version, because I have the English version um, cover, but this is the American one, so maybe now I need to invest in the American editions of the others and get rid of my UK ones, because I kind of prefer the American ones. We'll see. But, anywho, that is the haul that I've come home to. <laughs> And I'm really happy about it, actually. You can definitely see I'm in my romance phase. There is literally one book here that's a sci-fi and that's it. Um, so, yeah, I am excited to get some reading done this weekend. Um, I'm going to my parents on Sunday for Sunday lunch and stuff, with it being Easter Sunday and whatnot. But I am excited about getting some reading done, so I'm hoping to get quite a bit done. I've got Patreon spins tomorrow from 12 p.m. I don't know if I'm gonna get much reading done tonight because I've got such a blasting headache. Um, it's been mithering me all day, it's so annoying. I didn't have one this morning, but all day, since this afternoon, it's been really mithering me and it's painful. So I'm gonna stick a cool and soothe patch on and I might even just go to bed. Um, but yeah, I am planning, I don't know what I'm planning on reading to be honest, but these four books have caught my eye very heavily and I think maybe an order of what I would want to read them in. It would look something like this. So the first one we have, we have is Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma, which I'm really excited for. It's just come out and I'm really, really hyped for it. So I'm very excited about that one. And it's blurbed on the back by Tessa Bailey as well, who is one of my favorite authors. And on the front by Emily Henry, another favorite author of mine. So I have that. And then we've got Flock by Kate Stewart, which you've just seen me open. Um, so I'm really, really intrigued by starting this series. So I have that one. Then I have Hooked by Emily McIntyre, which again, you've just seen me open. And then I have Lucky Leap Day by Anna Marie Walker, which came a couple weeks ago. Um, so I haven't read Happy Singles Day from Anne Marie Walker. So I'm hoping that they're not connected. I'm hoping that it's just, that's the first book that she came out with. Well, that's another option as well. So yeah, I'm planning on reading some romance. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but for the rest of the evening now, I'm just gonna kind of chill, possibly eat something. I know I should, but I'm not particularly hungry. I just feel really sick with this headache. So I don't know, I might just go to bed. Um, but yeah, I'll update you tomorrow on what my plans are. I'm hoping that if I go to bed early enough tonight, then I can get up at a reasonable time tomorrow and start my reading before my sprint start at 12. So I will just keep you posted and let you know how I'm getting on. But I thought I would open this log up with an unboxing. And yeah, I am gonna go because I don't feel very well, I'm not gonna lie. And I will see you in a little bit.
Wednesday of the following week. I suck, I know. Um, I, it is what it is. I decided to extend this reading vlog because I didn't get much reading done at all on the weekend. So, we're gonna extend it. I've got a couple reading updates, but first I wanna unbox this Alcrate Junior box with you because uh, I have been sent it and I wanna know what's inside. Uh, so, Alcrate Junior is a middle grade subscription service box by Alcrate junior i will leave a link to them in the description box down below you can go and check them out along with my discount code which will give you some discount off but i really enjoy unboxing their boxes um because they always have gorgeous gorgeous things in and i love the books that they put in as well so this month we have twisted tails how cute is that bunny and that little mushroom and stuff adorable um so let's see what is in here is this a tote bag yeah buddy with a quote on it from Neil Gaiman by the looks of things. Tote bag. The quote says, fairy tales are more than true. Not because they tell us that dragons exist, but because they tell us that dragons can be beaten. Nice, from Neil Gaiman. Pretty little tote bag. Always hear from a tote, for a tote bag, from a tote bag. They didn't come out of a tote bag. That would be bizarre. Um, then we have some berry candy scented double-ended highlighters oh cute nice love a good highlighter um then we have oh a very small edition of alice's adventures in wonderland by lewis carroll this is really pretty it's got little french flaps on it and it's illustrated inside very cute then we have some cute little stickers which have slid up in the packet twisted tails puffy stickers how cute are these very nice then we have a woodmark i think yeah woodmark inspired by the jumbies by tracy tracy baptiste i've read the first one in this series but i haven't read the rest um if you don't trouble trouble then trouble won't trouble you there's the quote on the back can you see that there we go very nice little wood mark and then finally we have the book which is the mirror wood by diva fagan i think maybe um so let's open this up and find out what it's about shall we we have a card of the main character i assume from this book the cover for this is beautiful that's sort of stunning i was wearing my sister's face on the night the hunters came to our cottage Ooh, it is signed <gasps> Pretty. looks like this under the dust jacket very nice and we also have some artwork under the dust jacket too. This is beautiful. Oh, like this. Okay, that makes way more sense. <laughs> I was like, why is the cat lying down? Okay, so, appearances are always deceiving. Fable has been cursed by a twisted magic that villagers call the blight, which forces her to steal and wear the faces of others or risk oblivion. To find her true self, she'll have to enter the treacherous mirror wood and free it from the demon prince who has ruled it for centuries. Thankfully, she has her faithful and opinionated feline companion, Moth, by her side. Pursued by Vicorax, a fierce apprentice blight hunter who is determined to destroy her, Fable plunges through the thorny forest into a world that is trapped in time and rife with peril. There she encounters a boisterously chatty skull, a library full of flying books and a beast so powerful it tears at the fabric of reality, leaving nothing in its wake. Fable will soon discover that in the mirror wood nothing is quite like the stories say. That sounds actually super interesting. <laughs> okay I'm actually very excited about that great book pick um i'll create junior nice and next month is schools of wonder that is the theme for next month um so very very excited indeed that was a really cute box i really liked that um so my reading update for you i have finished a book i read unlock your storybook heart by amanda lovelace which is the third and final book in this series from her and um, the series being 
you are your own fairy tale series this is the third one uh, and i gave this four stars i really enjoyed it. it was very good the illustrations in here are absolutely stunning so beautiful definitely gives me autumn vibes so maybe not the right time to be reading it but alas i loved it it was great a very good poetry collection i love all of amanda lovelace's poetry collections to be perfectly honest so had a good time with this one and then i did start dating dr dill by nisha sharma i'm really enjoying this one so far i'm currently 117 pages in uh, and i'm really enjoying it we're following karina and also preem and basically karina is a successful businesswoman um, she's doing her own thing at the moment however she still lives with her dad and her sister her sister is engaged she's younger than her she's ready to get married um and she's got a lot of pressure on her from her dad and from her grandma and from her aunties and stuff to be getting married it's, it's kind of looked down on for your younger sibling to be getting engaged and married before you are um in indian culture so she's not having a great time of it at the moment and she's just found out off her dad that he wants to sell the house and she's not happy about it it's basically her mum's happy place her mum passed away many years previous and uh, she now needs to come up with a plan to try and buy the house it turns out that dad is paying half of the wedding for her sister he's also got money set aside for karina for either a deposit on her first house or her wedding and he, he said the only way that he will give her this money is if she gets engaged slash married um, and she's got four months to do it so um she's wondering how to get this sorted out then she meets prim in a bar one night they nearly get down and dirty but he gets called away and she's absolutely livid and then she comes across him again one day and it turns out that he is also having his mother breathing down his neck about the fact that he's still not married etc and she said that she will give him money to help his startup uh if he finds someone to get engaged to slash married to and so some fake dating begins uh we haven't fully hit that point yet they've discussed it but i think we're about to get to a point where some fake dating is going to happen but these two definitely have some uh, chemistry and i am here for it and i'm very excited i think this could be a very smutty book so i'm very excited for it indeed uh, but yeah this is what else i am reading this week so i don't know if i'm going to pick anything else up but for the time being this is what i'm reading so yeah I will keep you updated on how this goes, uh, but I'm currently on sprints with Jade and um, I've been having like meetings and stuff this evening. So I'm currently on sprints with Jade. I might try and read for the next, uh, maybe I won't, maybe I won't bother. Um, I might read when I get in bed though for a little bit, but that's it. That's the update. Uh, I shall check back in with you and I've got another update for you. <laughs> busy weekend this weekend i've been getting lots done not getting lots done actually i've just been spending a lot of time with friends 
and family um, and hanging out and just having a break to be honest and it was really really nice but I am feeling a bit poorly today um, I have a cold coming on my colds always start in my throat my throat is killing it's been killing since yesterday morning so um, I just got home I've been at Andy's since Thursday night so I just got home um, and it's currently 25 past midday 25 past 12 and I have been washing the pots because I had left a load of pots that needed washing I've been washing the pots putting a food full food shop away um, putting some washing away putting some washing in and just generally tidying up and pottering about a little bit um, so I feel a little bit better about the state of the house it's not perfect but I feel a little bit better about it so I'm going to just try and relax the rest of the day, to be honest, and just chill out. I do have Iron Man 3 watch along with my patrons tonight. So I am looking forward to that later on. Uh, but for the rest of the day, I think I'm probably going to dip in and out of maybe having a bit of a snooze and a bit of a nap because I'm really, really tired now. Uh, but also, I would like to finish dating Dr. Dill today because I haven't finished this and I do still have a ways to go. I'm currently on page 100 and... 17 so i do have quite a bit of a way to go with this so i would like to try and finish this off today so i can wrap this reading vlog up um because spring flingoween starts tomorrow and i would like to take part in that so there is that uh, but i do have a couple parcels here as well that i thought we could open together so let's do that um i assume that these are from me but i'm not sure i can't guarantee it Okay, these were definitely from me. So we have the sweetest obsession. No, the sweetest oblivion. I'm sure I've been calling this the sweetest obsession for ages now by Danielle Laurie. This was going to be one of the book picks for literature, but I have decided to swap it after being told by several people that this author is problematic or there's been issues previously with this author so um i will probably still read it myself anyway because i want to but the the other book that we've then swapped it to i didn't want this cover i wanted the other cover but whatever is um there are no saints by sophie lark because i've heard great things about this series although Casty has just let me know that um there is stalking in here so that's great <laughs> Uh, the fact that I know will hopefully help me a little bit more, but we'll see what happens. So, yeah, I got both of those. Um, I didn't need to physically buy them, to be perfectly honest. Now that I've got them, I'm a little bit mad at myself because of this issue, but also because this cover isn't the cover I've got. I, I got, I wanted. Um, I could listen, I can read them on Kindle Unlimited, but it is what it is. Um, and then this one, I'm going to assume might be from Waterstones, maybe a pre-order. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, it's from Del Rey. Um, they sent me a while ago now, and I haven't had a chance to pick it up yet, but it doesn't come out till May anyway. They sent me an arc of this book, and now they've sent me a fin finished copy, which is what they did last year with the first one in the series. And this is Misrule by Heather Walter. This is the second and final book in the Malice series, and I really enjoyed Malice. So I am looking forward to picking this one up. I am hoping to get to it before publication day, which in the UK is the 10th of May, but I don't know if that's going to be possible because of my slump. So uh, we'll see. But thank you so much to Del Rey for sending me a finished copy of this one as well as the ARC. I do appreciate it very much so because I am very keen about this book. So there's that. And then we have the Fairy Loot box. So let's give this a butcher's. This is the card for this month, which is beautiful. Um, and this month we have Spitters, Spitter. This, this month we have a bitter sweet. This is the April box. Um, the card is gorgeous. So let's see what we have in so, I, inside. Oh, is this one of those TBR thingy magics? It's a canvas basket. I love these. I do enjoy these. Um, a person is what is a person if not the marks they leave behind v e schwab nice uh inspired by addy larue which was my favorite book of 2019 so nice happy with that then we have some hearts fairy lights in a little box battery is not included but they do look like this 
cute. Then we have another tray and this one is inspired by the night circus and it says, and there are really never endings. Happy or otherwise. Very nice. I didn't like the night circus for those of you that didn't know. <laughs> Um, we have a Stranger Dreamer moth pin, which I am keen for. I wasn't a huge fan of Stranger Dreamer, but I bet this is gorgeous. Very, very pretty pin. And then we have the first of our two books of the month. So the first one is An Arrow to the Moon by Emily X. R. Pan. I don't know anything about this, but it has very pretty sprayed edges. Um, and it is signed by the author as well. And on the back, this says, uh, Hunter Yi has perfect aim with a bow and arrow, but all else in his life veers off course. Haunted by his family's past mistakes, the only thing keeping him from running away are his younger brother, a supernatural wind, and the bewitching girl at his new school. Luna Chang dreads the future. Graduation looms ahead and her parents' expectations are stifling. Then her life is turned upside down by the strange new boy in her class. The unearthly fireflies that follow her around and the ominous crack that begins to spread across the town of Fairbridge. As Hunter and Luna navigate the feud between their families and uncover hidden secrets, everything around them begins to fall apart. All they can depend on is their love, but time is running out and fate will have its way. A, spell, a spellbinding reinterpretation of Romeo and Ju Juliet filled with romance, magic and Chinese mythology. Interesting. Very nice. Um, and then we have the next two cards in the new tarot deck. So we've got the Emperor and the Empress. Um, and these two are inspired uh, featuring Chang and L Louis from Daughter of the Moon Goddess. Um, so very very pretty indeed and then the book we have the matching bookmark as always the fairy scoop which I'll go through in a second we have a gorgeous oh that is really pretty um, we have a gorgeous dear author letter and then we have the book. I don't really have much interest in this book, I don't think, but I've seen it about a lot. Uh, Blood, But it is Blood Scion by Deborah Farley. Uh, this is a very pretty edition of this book. Uh, it's really, really nice. And the edges are a very nice blue color. Inside we have the signature from the author. Ooh, okay, this is really pretty. Underneath the dust jacket, it looks like this. However, the hardback is looking like this. Very pretty indeed. Okay, so this says, I am a descendant of Shango, the god of heart and fire. I am living inferno. I am a dead girl walking. 15-year-old Sloan can incinerate an enemy at will. She is a scion, a descendant of the ancient Orisha gods, but under the brutal ruler of but under the brutal rule of the Lucius, her identity means her death. Her mother knows as much. She's, she disappeared trying to hide Sloane's truth. Sloane too has hidden her abilities, but on her 15th birthday, she is conscripted into the Lucius army. One taken, once taken, Sloane must not only conceal her power, but overcome the bloody challenges of Lucius training. But if she can infiltrate the Lucius, she could destroy her enemies. The people who think of her as less than human. The overlords responsible for her mother's disappearance. Sloane rises through the ranks and gains strength, but in doing so risks something greater. Losing herself entirely and becoming the very monster she abhors. Very nice. That actually sounds alright, to be fair. I didn't know anything about the story, but yeah, it sounds... Not too bad, maybe I'll give it a go. Ooh, it's got pretty like part one, part two pages. Book is inspired by the real life horrors endured by child soldiers and the war on children in particular and therefore tackles themes of war, violence and sexual assault. Please read with care. That's a nice little um, content warning going on there in the beginning of the book. I appreciate that. Uh, so yeah, very nice box indeed. Um, the fairy scoop as always has an interview with the author um, and the read along for Blood Sion will start on May 23rd and will be the schedule will be published on the website a few days before and May's theme is cloak and dagger so yeah that's the feral loot box let me know if you got this one what was your favorite item did you are you excited about the books let me know chat to me in the comments down below but yeah so I'm gonna go I'm actually really hungry now so I'm gonna go and get something to eat 
um, and then I'm going to try and read a little bit of this. Part of me just wants to sit and binge watch TV to be perfectly honest but uh, I don't know what to do. I might listen to myself for a little bit and then do a bit of reading later. It's still quite early on in the day so I could do both um, but yeah I shall chat to you later and give you an update on what's going on. The next day. Hello. Um, okay, so it's now Tuesday. I didn't read anything else yesterday. I'm still at the same point I was in dating Dr. Dill yesterday. Uh, so I'm just going to wrap this reading vlog up because I really need to start getting into next week's, sorry, not next week's, this week's reading vlog. So I'm going to wrap this vlog up. I did manage to read the new Amanda Lovelace book. I don't know if I've read anything else, honestly. I can't remember. But I did start this, at least, anyway. Uh, my apologies for not reading as much as... I would hope. I'm trying not to sack the vlog off though just because I haven't finished the book. Do you know what I mean? I've read a little bit so I have been reading some and I've been doing lots of, I've been trying to get as many uh, bits of footage as I can just to add in of like my daily life as well. So I don't know, hopefully there's some substance to this vlog, I don't know, we will see. Uh, but I hope you enjoy it regardless. Chat to me in the comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts were on the vlog. Um, and I shall see you in the next one, which will be for the spring flingoween week. So I shall see you in that vlog. Bye for now.